Okay, YouTube peeps, today I'm going to be making a soca drum beat using Reason 10 software and specifically, specifically I'm going to be using the red drum to make this beat. And first thing I'm going to do, uh, um, I already have a kit that I want to use and I'm going to go into my... Um, this folder that says tight kits and I'm gonna use this dub lab kit with songs like this let me go into my um, preference and get the this down to where I can hear the sample every time I hit it okay so now what I'm gonna do I have this bad but what I'll do I'm gonna go into my kicks and I'm gonna look for the basic kick to sound nice and tight to drop the pitch a little bit okay that sounds good and for my snare this is okay let's see if I can get a better snare So I'll go back and use this thing. So I'm gonna get a my loop is gonna be five four bars. I'm gonna put my metronome on so I wanna get um a tight beat. You don't want much um I want it to be tight. Soca music, the rhythms is really tight and I want a tight soca beat. So I'll put my click on a medium click and I'll play the as far as my temperature <laughs> as far as my tempo, sorry, I'll lose a, I'll use a lower tempo. Okay, that song got on. So if I can zoom in on this. This is my... That's my kick. So now I'm gonna put my snare in. And in this snare that I'm gonna use, there's gonna be different snare variations that I can use, but I'm gonna I'm gonna use one variation and then I'm gonna make probably a second variation, maybe a third variation of the snare. That's my snare. I'm going to put in my hi hats. So that is my snare hi hats. That's the basic rhythm that holds the band together. And now. I'm gonna come over here. I'm gonna duplicate this. And I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna get rid of my snare beats. So that way um I can I can give you a second Snare, snare pattern. So 
that's my second snare um, pattern. And you can see I'm using the same hi hats pattern there. Now I'm gonna make, I'm gonna duplicate this. And I'm gonna get rid of my snare again. And I'm gonna come up with a different snare pattern. This time I'm gonna use, let's see. Let's see. So that's a third snare pattern that I'm just putting in. So let me now play it from the beginning so you can hear all the different patterns. It's the same kick drum. There you have um, the three different kick um, patterns. Now I'm going to make one more pattern. Actually, I'm going to make another. Let me duplicate. Let me duplicate this track. And I'm going to get rid of these patterns there. And I'm going to mute this track. And I'm gonna create different um some different kicks. See so here this kick is different. I'm gonna play some hi hats in. Okay, so now let me see. I'm gonna come up with a kick snare. Okay, so that's the snare. soca pattern right here let's see okay that's another um, kick drum pattern and let's see what could get for that So in this way, I'm going to use a straight hi-hat without the open hi-hats. One more kick. 
variation. So with this kick now I'm gonna use this snare in it. This one, I'm gonna add in my hi hats again. So sorry about that, my audio card just screwed up. No, something isn't right. Let me start this over again. Okay, then I'll grab my snare, let me drop the hi hats. Okay, so that's six different um, beats, and now let me drop my. This is not a rhythm I'm making in any way. I'm just gonna play a little piano. So that's a piano strum, and I'm going to actually duplicate it. So put it to the beginning. over those beats and then so let me just write the bass line that will work. Yeah. 
there you go. Um, so correct. I'm going to play it back while muting out the different drum pattern as we go. There we go, man. It's making um some soca drum beats. Where again you can see. Let me um expand it, and you can see what my um where my kicks are position. I wish it was a way you could get into it more. Okay. Where my kicks are position, my snare is hi hat, open hi hat, and then I'm gonna give you next one where I'm gonna do some percussion rhythms that you're gonna use for your drum beats because soca music and calypso music, which is the same but different variations, um, there's always a lot of Latin percussion that is there. Congos, cowbells, iron, shaker. Um, that is what gives the vibes, that kind of, that Caribbean feeling. You know, so my next tutorial is going to be putting some uh, percussion to this drum beat and the bass so you could have a full session of how it songs with the percussion playing so hope you enjoy this video man if you like this video give it a thumbs up peace out like and subscribe